David, what are the main messages coming out of the meetings? In the course of the discussions, there really were two themes. Growth has been too low for too long and benefited too few. There was a lot of talk about what can be done to deal with this discontent, to deal with the dislocations, the spillovers, the things that are adversely affecting populations. But there also was a focus on making sure that everyone has a bigger slice of the pie. We have to see that the pie is growing. There was a focus on how to strengthen growth as well. The question that I think people really were grappling with all week was how to balance these two. Perhaps we could turn a little bit to the global economic recovery, which has been characterized as feeble and uneven. And there has been some concerns about whether we're running out of policy ammunition. The Fed has started tightening, but interest rates remain at historic lows in the euro area and Japan. Could you perhaps say something about what policy tools are available for global policymakers? Well, we've recommended the three-pronged approach, and frankly, there was a very broad acceptance of our assessment and recommendation here at the meetings. Uh, the idea, of course, being that monetary policy has been the first uh, line of defense in dealing with the problems of low growth and uh, low inflation in advanced economies, and that's being overstretched. And so we've tried to explain that we saw there are synergies, mm -hmm. that uh, combining that monetary support, which is indispensable, with uh, growth-friendly fiscal policies, structural policies, and putting together in a differentiated way a package for each country to think about what's best, uh, but also acknowledging that uh, when many countries act together in a coordinated way, the whole will be greater than the sum of the parts. David, summing it all up, where do we go from here? Most important is that we're able to make the case to the world, to our members, that there's still a great promise from globalization. There are negative side effects, there are spillovers. Uh, we'll have to manage those if we're going to convince the member countries to stay the course and uh, not shy away from the uh, integration and interconnectedness and openness that have been, uh, that's been such a source of uh, support and growth for the world economy. It's really vital, especially for emerging market and developing countries, that they remain interconnected because that's going to be their source of demand for exports, source of investment, capital, of uh, technology that will help them uh, lift living standards over the coming years and even decades. David, thank you for being with us this morning. My pleasure. Good to be with you.